Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So today's video is about the waiting season. A lot of the emotions that could come with the waiting season with having a delayed outcome not seeing results in the time frame that we are expecting hoping and praying and putting the work in to see i feel that i have been through a lot a lot of waiting seasons in my life i am just now at 28 years old starting to see the benefits of all the work that I have put in since the age of 17, 18, and probably even less than that, doing all kinds of stuff just to sustain and build and grow. I feel like a lot of people who have really built things from the ground up, it takes a lot of work, it takes a lot of praying, it takes a lot of self-actualization, and it can be very, very hard. In these times where we are believing that God is going to do something great for us, he's obviously put a vision inside of us to make us even want to be ambitious, to make us even want to have a better life or a different life for ourselves. In this season, we can feel emotions such as rejection, denial, failure, a loss of hope, depression, all of the things that honestly are debilitating to our growth to us to continue to pursue what we are going after as soon as our thinking goes into the mindset that things can't happen for us that god is not hearing us that god will not deliver us from whatever we're asking to be delivered from that our dreams and goals and aspirations are not realistic for us they start to manifest in ways such as unproductivity, a lack of vision, hopelessness, all of the things, a couple of things to be mindful of and to consider while you're going through your season. Number one, it is a season. Seasons change, seasons have ends to them, and seasons cycle. So this isn't going to be the first and the last time that you're going to have to wait pray, believe, and work hard for something. And it doesn't mean that it's going to last forever either. Hard times don't last forever. This season does have value and it does pertain to the next season and the next level that you have to go through. You have to really sit and be serious with yourself as to what this particular season is teaching you. The other thing is that you cannot lose grasp of your vision that God has put on your life. Back in the day, I used to do so many videos about vision, about, you know, being ambitious and all of these things. And in that time frame, somewhere between then and now, I have really gone through it to where I just was confused. In the waiting season, we get so confused as to like what is going on, especially when we set our minds and we set our feet to something, to a, a certain path. We're showing up, we're doing the work, at least we think we are. We are hopeful, we're trying to plan, we're trying to do all the things and things are just not manifesting the way that we thought that they would. When you feel like your motion is slowed down, the first thing that you need to be doing is to write it down and make it plain. You need to start visualizing, you need to start planning and you need to actually understand what it is that you are actually asking for, what it is that you actually want. And obviously at different parts of my life, I wanted different things. If you would have asked me at 21 what I wanted in my life, I want a house, I want a Range Rover, I wanted this, I want a Chanel. -y. Obviously, you know, those things are still wants, but that's not at the forefront of what I'm actually doing what I'm doing and my my why. As life be life and your desires and your needs and what you truly envision for yourself starts to change. Rewrite what you feel like it is that could be different or what, how you could present differently to the world and how you can show up for yourself. I think we kind of lose sight of what's kind of going behind the scenes, what our habits should be with our lifestyles. We should be eating healthy. We should be taking care of our bodies. 
our self-care should be there. We should be showing up for our families, for our loved ones, our household. All of these things obviously come with whatever you're asking. So if you were to sit down and really ask yourself, if God were to bless me with what I want today, the money, the husband, the home, whatever it is, if he were to bless me with it today at this very moment, would I be prepared for it and would I be able to sustain it? We need to work on our sustainability in our waiting season. One thing that you also need to realize is that what you focus on grows. I like to think of life in different categories. Obviously, I have financial, family, my fiance, my career, nursing in itself, a YouTube channel, my health, and obviously all of these things work cohesively to make me. When you focus on something, it grows. So that means that I have to be intentional about my day to day to work on a little bit of this, to work on a little bit of that, to work on a little bit of this, and to work on a little bit of that. Even when you're watering your dreams, your goals, your aspirations, and you don't see an outcome right away. You cannot stop feeding it. A lot of times people make the mistake in quitting in the waiting season. And it's really unfortunate. And I have had moments in my life where I have momentarily quit, momentarily put it down, we all know that feeling of when you quit something that you were once so passionate about. We all know the feeling of despair, of depression, of disappointment. Have you ever been disappointed in yourself? It is a sick, sick feeling. In order to not fully quit, you really have to go to war with your thoughts sometimes. In doing so, this requires you to not internalize every single thought process that you, that comes through your mind. You have to learn how to separate what is actually feeding you, what is actually aligned with what God has for you. Like I mentioned before, there is a reason, there is a purposeful lesson to your waiting season. This waiting season could be for you to rest. It could be for you to restore God to create in you a new heart, new mindset. It could be for you to actualize who you are trying to be. It could be your rebrand season. This could also be the time, like I said, to invest in yourself. You don't see a return on something that you've been working on over here, but what could you do to invest in how this is going to add into your lifestyle when you actually do reach your goals. Focus on what is in your control. Trust me, a lot of the times I have found myself focusing on what is out of my control because that is what stresses me out the absolute most. And I had to really get serious about myself and about the way that I carry stress. And I was really like, you know what, God? I haven't really been giving my, my stress, my woes, my worries to you for real. I always feel like I can plan and organize and do the things to get certain worries that are out of my control, off of my heart, off of my mind, that is affecting my sleep, that is affecting the way that I show up. And honestly, you have to learn to let things go. Focus on the things that are in your control. You can control your schedule for the most part. You can control your self-taught, your affirmations. You can control your discipline. These are things that you can control. Yes, they are hard, but they are controllable. And you can work on those in the process and in the waiting season as you wait for your goals to be manifested. One of the very, very important things to guard, have to, have to, have to, like this is a non-negotiable, you have to protect your eyes and your ears. This is really important because we really do gain our hope from what we listen to, to what we put into our spirits. It is so, so, so important to guide your eyes and ears. So this means a social media uh, cleanse, detox, showing you positive things, showing you motivational things, inspiring things, and also people who are going through similar things that you're going through or, you know, the underdog story. We all love a good underdog story. An underdog story will get me going immediately, okay, immediately. So it's really important for us to guide our, our eyes and our ears as we wait 
in our season. I want to leave you with that, that this too shall pass. Also that the waiting season is a time for you to build resilience, for you to build grit, for you to build discipline, for things to not stop you or deter you. So that way when you go through something like this again, you are equipped, you are ready, and you know that you will be seen through, okay? If you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up and let me know down below what other videos you guys would like to see from me. Stay encouraged, show up, keep going. I love you as always. I'll see you in my next video. Sunlight that always stays Dinner by the waterway It's that sweet life Raise your cross Made some dude crack a smile He asked if I could stay a while